Hey, this is Tyler Baker, the pastor of Valiant Baptist Church in Jacksonville, Florida. This is going to be part one of the series entitled Jesus is Jehovah. Now, if you haven't already had the opportunity to watch the introduction to this series, I strongly suggest that you take a minute, you locate that on my channel, and you do so because it, it contains some very pertinent information that's going to benefit you while following along in this series. In that video, I help you, number one, to better understand the word or the name Jehovah, and number two, I teach you how to identify that word when it occurs in the King James Bible. Now, in this video, part number one, I want to use one of the most powerful verses that teach that Jesus is Jehovah, and that's John chapter number eight, verse number 24. Jesus speaking, and he says this, I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins, for if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Now, this verse is profound for a couple of reasons. First, we see that Jesus uh, tells us that there is a prerequisite or a condition of salvation found in this verse. And what was it? He said, we must believe that, quote, I am he, that Jesus is he. Well, of course, the question comes up, who is he saying when he says, I am he? Where does this statement come from? Well, it's not an obtuse statement. Je this is actually Jesus quoting the Old Testament. This phrase or this statement occurs numerous times throughout the Old Testament, and it's found eight times even in just the book of Isaiah alone. I want to take you to one of those quotations. Isaiah chapter number 43, verse number 10. Now, this is actually where the Jehovah's Witnesses derive their name from. And it says this, Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord. This is Jehovah speaking and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. Verse 11, I even I am the Lord, that's Jehovah. I even I am the Lord and beside me there is no savior. Now Jehovah says many, many things in this verse. There's a lot that we can learn about him. But number one, he says this, that he wants us to believe and understand that Quote, I am he. Well, that's exactly what Jesus said. Doesn't that sound familiar? Not only that, he tells us that he is the one and only true God. He says that before me, there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. He goes on in verse number 11 saying that I am the Lord and beside me, there is no savior. But the name Jesus actually means savior. And the Bible tells us in 1 Timothy 3, 16, when Jesus was born, it says God was manifest in the flesh. Matthew chapter number one says that his name was Emmanuel because God is with us. Another thing that Jehovah says that he wants us to believe that I am he. Well, Jesus said that exact statement, and he said that we must believe that I am he. Well, this, as I said, is an identifying statement that Jehovah alone uses in the Old Testament. It is a statement that only the God of the Old Testament uses to identify himself. Another example of this is Deuteronomy chapter number 32, verse number 39. It says this, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. Notice that he says the exact same thing. I'm the only God, and he says, I am he. Well, what did Jesus say that we must believe? He said that we must believe that I am he. What is he doing? He's speaking to Old Testament Jews that are the Jews that should know the Old Testament scriptures, and he quotes the Old Testament and says that we must believe that I am he. Jehovah is the only person that ever made that statement. What is Jesus teaching? He's teaching that he is Jehovah, that he is the God of the Old Testament manifest in the flesh. And in order to go to heaven, in order to be saved, and in order to have your sins forgiven, you must believe that Jesus is Jehovah. You must believe that Jesus is the one and only true God. God bless you and have a good day.